Three men have been jailed for a shooting that was caught on CCTV in January 2021. There was 26 similar attacks in Manchester in 12 months and this was a 92% increase from the year before. The gunman was seen on camera aiming his gun and firing out of his window while driving and two associates as well have been jailed today after police uncovered the CCTV of the shooting. They accidentally hit somebody else's car and this was the reason the case was started was because the man whose car was shot, he reported it and that was the only report that they received in the whole incident and they had to go back to CCTV in order to try to gather the evidence. The incident occurred in the Harper Hay area of the city in broad daylight in the middle of January and two cars were driving in tandem on Briscoe Lane and one man can be seen leaning out of the window and firing at the other car as it moves along. CID led the investigation and they found the bullet that was embedded in the car. Two shots were fired during the incident. The gunman was identified as Sean Cowie due to the fact that he didn't wear a mask and they said that he was hanging out the side of a BMW X5 pointing the gun at a black VW Golf and his associate Dean Ure was also in pursuit. The police managed to track them via the CCTV and managed to find their other friend as well, Paul Ryan, and they questioned them about the incident. While searching Ryan's address in Oldham, they seized a shotgun from one of the bedrooms and it wasn't used in the incident, but they seized it and he'd be punished for possession of the weapon. They never recovered the firearm that was used. It was one of several discharges during the year and the police said that they believed they was responsible for a lot of these shootings. Cowie, Ryan and Uray all eventually pled guilty to the offences that they was accused of at Manchester Crown Court on Friday the 18th of March. All three men were sentenced to a total of 17 years behind bars. The shooter from Oldham was handed five years and seven months after being convicted of conspiracy to cause fear or violence with intent. Ryan received the six and a half year sentence and Uray from Fowlsworth was ordered to serve five years and four months. And on average, they will serve about half of that sentence because it's so low. Detective Inspector Claire Moss, who was investigating, said the streets of North Manchester are much safer now that Sean Cowie, Paul Ryan and Dean Uray are behind bars and they are unable to take away somebody's life with their actions. We never established exactly what it was about, but we uncovered CCTV from the attack and it shows how shocking it was. It was a clear fact that the man's car that was hit was innocent and he could easily have ended up being injured or killed. There was also a lot of traffic on that road at that time, they go on to say in their statement, and a woman was also pushing her pram during the incident. It was only moments away from a local school as well and anyone could have been seriously injured. So I feel that story definitely needs highlighting and has had very little national coverage, as usually it doesn't when it, a story occurs up north, which shows that this is an ongoing issue for Greater Manchester Police and I'll definitely follow it up with any other updates and stories in the future. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to follow me online as well at Scar City Studios and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.